All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back. Man, we back at it again, and it is a uh, rainy, gloomy day. I don't know why, because yesterday it was hot and humid. It was like 90 degrees, so I'm used to this, though. This is Texas weather. Uh, it's supposed to be hot again tomorrow, so I don't know what's going on. I still got my shorts and t-shirt on, though. So, all right, man, so just to get y'all caught up, man, I've been super busy. These gig apps been on fire. Uh, mainly dispatch, but uh, it's been a lot of orders coming out. Even Go Share, Dolly's been active. So, anyways, um, so what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna consolidate uh, like maybe two days together since I'm only posting twice a week now. So uh, yesterday, I started really early, early in the morning, and it was for a dispatch order. Um, these type of order, I think I picked up from Sherman Williams. Uh, those type of orders pay between thirty and forty dollars, somewhere around there. Uh, sometimes fifty, depends on how far you're going. Um, so I did uh, quite a few orders. Uh, I'm not gonna show you every last one of them, but uh, I did get some pretty uh, big orders as well, uh, like a pallet or two pallets. Uh, those were very high paying. So I actually ended with a high priority uh, last minute uh, order, and it had a significant bonus to it. So I did that one. That was my last stop for the day. That was yesterday. So I actually, uh, I took a screenshot of a roadie order. And uh, it says, like, when you compare the pay of some of these other apps to Dispatch, it says no comparison. Um, I don't even know if this was, it says medium. So I don't know. It could have been for a car, SUV, whatever. Uh, seven, seven deliveries, 63 miles for $38. I don't even I wouldn't even do that in my car like that's just ridiculous and the fact that these are actually getting done I don't know man that's crazy to me 63 miles that's crazy and that that delivery takes you looks like man almost to Canyon Lake that's like that's a long drive so and then you, if you live depending on where you live you got a dead head back after that delivery uh, that's crazy man so anyways, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm heading to my first stop. Uh, it is a dispatch order and it is another new customer. I don't know. I've never seen this customer before in my life. I have to say I've seen about five different new customers I've never seen before. So they making moves, man. I love it. So I got about, uh, oh man, I'm gonna be in this traffic for my nav says 26 minutes. I'm only seven miles from the pickup. 26 minutes to get there because of this traffic. Alright y'all, I'm pulling up to the pickup and this is my very first time here. Uh, I think this is a new customer. I was reading the notes. It looks I'm picking up a uh, air AC condenser. So um Yeah man. Dispatch adding more and more customers, man. Alright man, we pulling up. I think this is it right here. Oh yeah, this is it right here. All right, man, let's get this loaded up. Uh, my note says that the customer is gonna unload it. So, I don't know if this is gonna be a forklift load and then the customer unloads it or I don't know, but it says that in the notes. Like, don't worry about unloading, they're gonna unload it. A few moments later, all right, y'all, so I went to the first, this whole building is uh, the address, but there's different businesses uh, connected to this one building. So I'm going to right here where it says Core Distributing, which is actually in my notes. That's the name of the uh, company. So uh, just for people that work in my market, just so you know, this is a new customer and uh, make sure you read the notes. It'll tell you where, which uh, company you need to go to. Cause that's, the guy was asking me what company I'm like, ain't this the address <laughs> so anyways let's see if this is the right spot all right y'all so i'm at the right place uh, they have a bunch of ac uh units in here fits perfect in the van so this is gonna be a no touch freight i'm assuming because i oh, mean it's kind of loud uh they're gonna um forklift load me and then like i said the note says the customer's gonna unload me so Pretty, pretty cool customer, man. I like this one. And this ain't far from my house too, so. 
I like it. I like it. That's another thing I was saying. Um, you know, you could work directly with custom uh, companies like this, but they have time frames, and like that's the issue I've been running into. Every company that I've reached out to, they want you at a specific time. Uh, they have these deliveries that need to go at certain times, and like this one, they want it before 9:30. So, trying to work on demand with a company is very very difficult and i'm just telling you through my experience um if you don't want to give up your time the best way to do it is just like this these gig apps they allow you to do the same type of work but on your schedule so it's not guaranteed work but for me in my financial situation i could do this so everybody can't do this some people need more consistent work but uh i love it man it works out perfect for me All right, y'all, so as you saw, I just got loaded up right there, that bay all the way on the end of this building. Um, and this is the item. Uh, the note says it weighs 150 to 200 pounds. It looks like it's pretty light, but uh, apparently there's two guys uh, waiting for this and they're gonna unload it for me. So, but I, I mean, I'll still help them, I guess, if they need help, but apparently you can lift it, two man lift. So anyways, let me go get this over there so I can get on time. Uh, I think it's about a 15 mile drive, so hopefully traffic's not too bad. All right, y'all, I'm getting pretty close to the uh, drop off. I'm five miles away. Uh, they want it delivered before 9.30. That's what it says in the notes. And uh, my arrival time says 9.17. So I'm barely gonna make it. Uh, traffic was pretty bad, so I had to get through. If it wasn't for traffic, I would have been there already. All right, y'all, made it and it is an apartment complex. <clears throat> so, I have no idea where I'm going. Let's find out. AC condenser to deliver? Yes, of course. Let me call uh, Jeremy here. Okay. Quick. If he wants you just to go ahead and uh, deliver it to the actual the unit. Unit. All right. My name is Omar. How you oh, doing? Chris. Nice Morning. To meet you. Yes, Want me to put it on a dolly too? You need to dolly it somewhere, or is it going upstairs? Or uh, oh, is it going down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was going on the other side or something. All right. I don't think it's that heavy. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Right here. Oh, no problem. Let's take a photo. All right, y'all, all done. Uh, it was a really nice apartment complex. So I actually ended up helping the guy unload it. <clears throat> it was like four guys, but they was acting all scared to touch my van or whatever. And I'm like, I ain't got time for this. So I just grabbed it and got it off. Uh, but it was really light, really lightweight. I probably could have carried it myself. It was really light. So anyways, um, I'm probably I might show one more delivery today for for today and then I'm gonna combine today's video with whatever I do tomorrow but uh I just want to share this real quick so Rody I haven't done a Rody in a while so Rody uh I just put in for a Rody it's at a Home Depot I'm driving three miles picking up one item that weighs 124 24 pounds and oh, I'm sorry 134 pounds and it's paying $36. There's another roadie at another Home Depot 
That one, you're driving nine miles for $39, so $3 more. And that one, you're picking up 30 items. And the heaviest item is 48 pounds. 25 items that weigh 48 pounds and five items that weigh 43. I, I don't understand Rody's pay, man. I don't understand it. Um, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. So anyway, like I said, Rody is a great filler. It's dead time right now. I just, I turned down a dispatch order. It was actually for a car though, but it came to me. I didn't accept it. It was paying 120 something dollars, but you're driving 110 miles uh, past Austin. Um, for me, that's not worth it. Uh, I already explained why I don't like to go out of town for orders like that. But, um, you know, you just gotta, you gotta really be smart. You gotta be smart and uh, be very selective on what loads you do. Roadie's a great app to use right now. It's dead time, there's nothing. I check my roadie map and I'm putting in for stuff. So I'm not just sitting here waiting. Um, anyways, uh, just real quick, I wanna share this one thing. Um, so a lot of people make a lot of excuses. They talk about how they can't find work and it's difficult and how do you find work? I get that all the time. So I'm gonna tell you, let me roll my window, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna tell you right now, Indeed is one of the best ways to find work for your cargo van. I don't know about other vehicles. Cargo van is a great way to find work. You gotta sign up, make an account, and then have your account alert you when new jobs arise in your market. You have to have those alerts on. I get them all the time, like probably three or four times a week. There's new job opportunities. Um, so make sure you open an account with Indeed uh, and have your alerts turned on so it, it notifies you when there's new cargo van low cargo van jobs cargo van contracts you got to get alerted on that do that with cb driver as well you can create an account and you can be you can put all your information in so that businesses that's looking for a cargo van can already see everything about you so they can reach out to you and uh, you can also get alerts on any new job opportunities um, honestly, man, it's no excuse. If you cannot find work, that's on you. I don't know what you're doing, but you gotta, it, it's so much work out here. It's just, it, I, I should never hear that from anybody. Um, I didn't, I didn't get selected on that roadie. Kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to share that because that's what I do. I get so many, uh, alerts and there's work out here. Uh, you should never be in a situation where you're just making no money and relying 100% on gig apps. You can't do that. You got to have different ways of making money with your van. So anyways, I just want to share that, man. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get something else. Later. All right, y'all. I just closed out. a. Uh, I just did a dispatch order. I'm going to continue working. It's only 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm just heading back to town. But uh, I'm going to save some more content for whatever I do tomorrow add that to this video and you guys know you can always email dispatch uh, if you have ideas or issues or uh, any uh, suggestions one thing I've noticed and it's been quite a few times it's happened uh, so I picked up from Sherman Williams it was a small order and um, the one thing a lot of times they'll ask me what are you picking up and it, it'll just say like eight parcels or 16 parcels or whatever but it's not specific. It doesn't tell them exactly what I'm picking up. So I noticed that that's kind of a, it's not a big deal because they can always find out, but uh, the pickup I just did, um, the pickup I just did, the, uh, the employee had to call the store to verify what I'm taking. So I would say, I don't know if that's, now, I don't think that's on dispatches in. I think that's the customer because they do have uh, where you can put notes. So the customer put eight parcels, whatever, but they can also add notes. So it would be nice if the customers would add notes, like put exactly what we're picking up, like write it in there, write it, you know, the type of paint, the name of it so that the employee, I can show it on my phone to the employee and they, they know exactly what I'm picking up. So there's no mistakes. Um, I know that uh, 
that happened before where Sherman Williams sent the wrong item. And I don't know if it was because of that uh, or it was just the wrong item. I don't know what, what happened, but I would say uh, that's something I do notice a lot. I've had that a lot. And that's something that would be nice if they had put exactly what we're picking up. Uh, so that way there's no confusion. So like I said, I'm gonna close this video out and I will pick it up tomorrow. All right, y'all, welcome back. It is the next day. It is Friday. And uh, I have to say, um, Friday is typical Friday. It's slow, not a lot of work coming out. So I'm kind of treating it like my day off. But I did get a last minute delivered catering order which I'm going to right now. And those are like in the middle of the day. So I don't really have time to do anything else. Uh, I have to pick my kids up at 12 because they get out of school early uh, for spring break. And my wife is doing her beauty supply route. So uh, I'm just gonna document this delivery, but I have a ton of information to share. It's gonna take time. It's gonna be a long video. If you're not interested, tune out. But uh, I have a lot of important info to share. So I'm gonna save that for the end of the video. Uh, yesterday, I did continue working and I got uh, quite a few other orders, uh, some good paying. I had a really small order that was really good paying. So uh, I did reach my goal. Um, I have to say, Dispatch has added a lot of new customers. A lot of people I never picked up uh, for um, doing a lot of new orders. Uh, Sherwin Williams also has been very active on the app. So. Anyways, uh, I'm going to Freebirds, and I don't remember how far I'm driving. I think it's like 10 miles. It's last minute, it just came out today, which is rare. They usually come out the day prior. So uh, anyways, I decided to do it because I had nothing else to do. So uh, after that, I will get into all the information I gotta share with y'all. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna document a lot of this. You guys have seen delivered orders before, so just a catering order. Um, it's kind of, I don't know how big it is. I don't think it's that big of an order. So I'm just gonna grab it, kind of knock this order out real quick, and then I'm gonna get to, uh, get to all the info I gotta share, cause it's a lot. 2,000 years later. All right, y'all, finally got that order. Had to wait like 20 minutes. The order was not, I got there at 10.20, and it's supposed to be ready at 10.30. They started working on it at 10.30. So anyways, uh, I'm in a rush because uh, I just got a uh, go share order, a high paying go share order. The pickup says 11 o'clock, but I learned from my mistakes. So I, I had a go share before. It was on a Saturday and it, the pickup time was 10 o'clock. And I should have known, but I hadn't done a go share in so long, I forgot. It was at Living Spaces. And Living Spaces, they don't allow pickups until 12 noon. So I almost fell for it again. So the, uh, the pickup's at 11, it's 10.54 right now. So I definitely wouldn't make it. But uh, I let the customer know, as well as my helper, that we can't pick up until 12. So I don't have to rush as much, but I can't pick my kids up now uh, because of that order. So my wife is going to pick them up uh, and then finish the route with them. <laughs> so just gotta adjust, man. Got to make those adjustments. She's done that before. They actually enjoy helping her. So they get to, you know, do the dolly and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, I'm not going to show a lot. I'm, I'm probably not going to show none of this. I'm just going to do it and start heading to living spaces. Uh, I'm not going to show a lot of that either. I'll probably just take a photo of the, the, the items because uh, I really want to share this information. And uh, dang, my carrier company, they just sent me a load now. What is this? Let me see what they sent me. All right, y'all, so my plans is getting all changed. So anyways, I'm probably not gonna share this information. Um, I'll just save it for another video. So my carrier company, they just sent me a load. Uh, I'm picking up from Lowe's. And I told you they pay a minimum of $75. So uh, I don't know the pay on this one yet, but I'm gonna do it. I'll probably be a little late. It says ASAP, but I mean, they give you like a two hour grace period. So I'm just gonna, I'll just be late on it. So anyways, uh, so I got this delivered order, uh, go share. 
I don't think I'll be able to pick up early. I could try, but I might have to wait till 12. Knock that order out. That's probably gonna take, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes to finish that job. So I probably won't make it to this job until uh, one o'clock, 22 hours. So anyways, I accept it. I never really been late on with the carry company. I don't know what they'll say, but it's only one way to find out, so. Anyways, forget what I had to tell y'all. I'll save it for another video. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the content. Uh, my day's changing, man. I, I wasn't even planning on like really working today, but I'll take it. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm looking at my nav, man. It looked like I'm delivering right here to the, uh, the Alamo Dome. There's yeah, something going on over here. A few moments later. All right, y'all, just to let you know, I completed that order. I didn't record it, man. My phone was going crazy. I, I didn't have time to record, but it was to the Alamo Dome. Uh, there was two guys on a golf cart that met me. So easy, quick drop off. Um, and the go share order i'm on my way to the uh pickup now i should be there by 11 37 so i'll be about uh, 20 minutes early <clears throat> and then uh that carrier job at lowe's uh, i'm not able to do it because of the time restraint so uh, this go share is paying more than the carrier job so i'm gonna stick with it and uh and uh, they needed me to pick it up asap and it had to be delivered uh, before one so I wasn't gonna be able to do that so I had to let it go but all good all right y'all it's almost 11 45 uh, it has been a minute since I've done one of these I have not done a go share in man I don't know how long it's been it's been a minute so I told you guys I've been having trouble getting go share orders like I can't even, like, it won't even turn green for me to accept. People could take it, you know, 15, 20, 15 seconds left. So this one has a couple items. That's probably why I was able to get it because maybe people wasn't able to read it fast enough. But uh, a couple items, but the main thing, the pay was high. Uh, my helper has a truck. So if we need extra space, he, he does have a pickup truck. And, um, the customer lives in an apartment, but they have an elevator. So that's all good for me. All right, y'all load it down. Uh, I end up double stacking the sofa. It's a two seater sofa, but it comes in two sections. So it's really small and light. And I got everything in there. Uh, should be a photo. I put a photo of what it looked like. So anyways, uh, my partner has a pickup truck, but we didn't even need it. Everything fit and I still had room for more. So man, these vans, I'm telling you, especially when you stack stuff, uh, it's, it's very spacious in here. So uh, and that, again, that's another reason why a high roof comes in handy the higher your roof the more the higher you can stack and fit things in here so anyways uh we got uh, i don't know how far the drive is oh man it's a short drive we're driving uh three miles three miles and uh it says seven minutes but um uh, it's it's a lot of traffic on the freeway so uh, it might take a little longer than seven minutes but three mile route love it All right, y'all, all done. Uh, that was a very quick, easy job. Everything was lightweight. Um, I did not record. I just I just wanted to get it over with. It was hot. Uh, I've been to those apartments before and uh, it's kind of a long walk. So I, I can't, my van doesn't fit. It's a little garage you gotta go in. My van's too high. So you gotta park outside, 
unload and walk a long ways but they do have an elevator so the elevator's in the garage take it up to the floor and there's a long walk so we were trying to do it in two two uh two trips but the customer couldn't get the hint we i had three dollies and i was trying to put all three dollies to use the customer she uh she didn't catch the hint like if she would have just pushed something on the dolly really easy they don't have to but you know we would have made it in two trips if the customer did that so we didn't ask her to we just we were like hinting at it like man if we uh if we can get somebody to push this other cart uh man we can get all three at once so unfortunately she didn't get it but it's all good so uh i'm done for the day man i was not even planning on really working today because fridays are usually slow and i was just gonna do that delivered order but the delivered order got me out and then while i was out i got the go share order i'm just gonna show you the go share order because go share normally doesn't pay that well uh, a lot of jobs you do for them especially at living spaces will be like 48 dollars 50 dollars maybe 60 dollars so this one actually paid over a hundred dollars i was surprised um and the only reason i took it was I, I saw the amount of items but everything seemed lightweight and there's an elevator so that's that's too easy i can do that all day so that one paid 113 uh, i asked my helper how much he got and uh he made i think he said 60 something dollars like 64 or 65 dollars so basically based on the amount that we received plus whatever cut go share gets i'm thinking the customer paid at least 200 bucks or more for that so that's a great way to learn how to price your jobs when you get direct bookings you can kind of see what these companies are charging what these customers are paying for the work and uh you can kind of use that as your your uh, a way to figure out how much to charge people anyways uh y'all have a great weekend my kids are out of school so i do have plans of you know rewarding them they're doing a great job in school and they're just good kids man so i do have some plans for them so i will be working as much as i can while i'm gonna take advantage while school is out traffic should not be an issue so i'll take advantage of that but at the same time i do have to dedicate at least two days to my my, my kids so i'll be off at least two days next week so anyways y'all have a good one man have a great weekend and i will catch y'all on the next one